Hi friends, the launch trailer for War Games just dropped. I'll put a link in the description below in case you haven't seen it yet. But War Games is essentially the latest event that's coming to Apex Legends Season 8, and it looks awesome. There are actually some really cool skins that will be available with War Games. I should say the event won't bring an heirloom, but it will bring five new game modes that we've not seen before. Now this is the schedule for each of the game modes and it will happen across two weeks and what I'll do in this video is talk you through each of these five new game modes and how they'll work because they actually sound pretty cool. So the first game mode that we'll get with War Games is Second Chance. In this game mode each legend is granted one free respawn per match. Once a legend is killed, their respawn token is consumed as they rise again from their current location. The cool thing about this is that they will retain their weapons and all of the equipment and gear that they had when they died. Now after a short duration, the player respawns high in the air and they'll skydive back into the action. Interestingly, they are disabling a few badges for this game mode, so you won't be able to get the Assassin, the Wake or the Wrath badges. Basically because this game mode will make these badges a little too easy to get. The second game mode we'll get with War Games is Ultra Zones. And this introduces the concept of multiple hot zones within a single map. You know those big blue circles you see when you're skydiving at the start of a game? Essentially there'll be multiple of those, which basically means there'll be more epic loot and a few more gold items that will be easily available. But on top of this, in this game mode, we also have Flashpoint returning. So where you have a hot zone, you'll also have a Flashpoint. For those of you that didn't play it back in Season 6, it was an LTM that was in Season 6. That basically meant when you were in the Flashpoint zones, your health would regen, and so would your shields. The cool thing about this mode though is that you will still have normal heals and consumable items available through the loot pool. If you remember back to Season 6 when we had the Flashpoint LTM, there were no shields or health items in the game, but in Ultra Zones this season you will still have consumables, which I think is definitely better for this game mode. After Ultra Zones it will be Auto Banners. This mode changes what respawning teammates look like and how it works. You see, your squadmates' banner cards are automatically retrieved when they die, so there's no need to try and get to their death box to grab their banner cards. You simply just head straight for a respawn beacon and you'll be able to respawn your teammate. The loot pool has also been altered in this game mode, so you'll be able to pick up more mobile respawn beacons too. I actually think this is a really great idea for a game mode, and something we could easily see them introducing into the game full time. When Apex launched, it was revolutionary that you could respawn your teammates. If you remember the early battle royales like PUBG, there was no way to bring back your teammates. But since then, things have moved on and it's kind of felt a bit dated. You know, when you're in a game with friends and you die early, you have to watch your friends play the whole game and you basically have nothing to do in that time. You also get people camping death boxes, so sometimes it can be really hard to grab your teammates' banner cards. So this resolves all of those issues. So let's see how it plays out, but this could definitely be something we see in the game in the future. The next mode is called Killing Time, and this event speeds up the match as legends fall. It's actually really crazy because as soon as a legend dies, the round time is reduced. If any given round has a lot of kills in it, then that ring's going to start closing really quickly. So you could end up in round 4, 5 or even 6 of the ring that will do a lot of damage, but you could still have lots of players left in, and it could still really be early in the game. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how this game mode plays out. The final mode we have is Armor Regen, and this comes after killing time. Armor Regen, as it sounds, is pretty simple. Your armor will regenerate over time at a rate of 12 points per second. Whenever you do damage, your armor will begin to regenerate after an 8 second delay. Now this 8 second delay is actually doubled to 16 seconds if you can crack someone's armor. So I think this will create lots of crazy fast paced games where you've got the incentive to push teams quickly as soon as you do good damage to their armor. Oh and by the way, there are no shield cells or batteries in the loot pool for this game mode. And those are the 5 game modes we can expect with War Games. I think all of these game modes are basically respawn, testing out new functionality they can bring to the game. And personally, I would definitely like to see some changes and I think we can get some good things out of these game modes. I must say this War Games event looks pretty awesome and it's great to have so much fresh content across this season. I really hope Respawn can keep it up through each season that we have this year. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.